I offer same day personal tarot card readings for $20. You receive your reading the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know is in the description box below of this video for details of how to book. Thank you. Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 53 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with um, who you're dealing with, what are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you here Pisces, okay? Now this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. Thank you. Okay, Pisces, so for you right away, you've just been dropping all sorts of burdens and getting rid of anyone or anything that's been so stressful and annoying and painful for you. Whatever it is, you're just kind of done with it. You're dropping it. You don't deal with it. You don't need to. It's not hard for you to just drop things that just, it makes sense, aren't really for you. And it looks like it could be about a person here. And immediately right away, someone here is extremely upset and irritated and depressed and mad and sad and angry and just not letting go of you emotionally because you drop the big burden and so they can't seem to get over you and let go and want to be done with you, with you in some way shape or form and they're they're fighting the fact that they peacefully understand your perspective and theirs but they're fighting that fact like they know the reason they know the truth as to why but that's what they're fighting. Yeah. And it looks like here that this could be someone interesting. So they're definitely, so them knowing and understanding. So they're harp, you drop all the burdens. You're not stressed out. They're in a lot of pain and heartbreak and they can't seem to get over you, let go of you. And they also are trying to be peaceful at it, but they don't want to be because they understand why it's done with, with the two of you. And so I think this could be an old ex-friends or a group. You could be getting gang stalked, which whatever. <laughs> All they can do is just literally stalk you from like, I guess, social media. But it's like people trying to force something onto you though, too. So it could be like friends or old loved ones, you know, that you don't spend time with anymore that are trying to force a way to get you in, you know, the group or bring you, pull you in or something because it's really toxic and it's very shady, you know, with whoever they associate with and whatever they're doing in that energy. It's not trustworthy, you know what I mean? That is making them realize that they're they're bounding and putting themselves stuck in this situation. So you've already blocked this person. Okay, you've already cut this person off. You've made your decision on like you don't want anything to do with whoever these people are or this person. So I'm hearing in my head, they're stuck in a group while you broke free. So I'm going to write that down for you. Cause that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, so you blocking them off completely and being clear about like how you are in the situation, that definitely caused them to get in this energy of like not wanting to do the work and figure out their life, their own finances, where they're investing, where they're spending their time, how they're doing it. Oh, and you you basically decided either to be single, you found yourself, you're in love with someone else, you know what I mean? You're really happy with these new beginnings and chapters that you're creating for yourself, basically, here in life. Yeah, you willingly chose to go through a spiritual ego death and an awakening and change so much about yourself and your life and just move forward. And that's why they're pissed off at you. Yeah, so... I feel like it's a group setting that's just pissed off at you, honestly. They're very irritated and annoyed with you and aggressive because the minute you, they, it's like they see that you're changing and for the better and it's causing them to want to start drama, fight, conflict with you just for the sake of it. 
because you're working. So it could be at your job, you're busy, you're literally someone who knows how to make money, be stable with it and continue with it no matter what you do. Yeah, and it looks like you've been aware about all this, so you just keep making judgment calls about the situation so you know exactly what's been going on here and how to handle this. Yeah, and that makes you feel extremely, you know, emotionally happy. You're very content with yourself and what you're doing and what you're feeling. And, you know, if you're with anyone with who you're with, you know, that's not including this person. It's just kind of like you're just basically doing your own thing, feeling really good about yourself here, Pisces. Yeah, and it looks like here, this is someone trying to consider, do they want to actually come back friendly or be nice? So this is someone that's from the past. It could be friend group. You know, it could be anyone really at this point. But it's someone here that like they don't even know what they want to do. They think about the things that's happened between the past with you and them. And that's what pulls them backwards and in and always wanting to find a way to deal with you. But then they also know they need to heal and let go and move on and try to at least if they're going to be nice to you or if they're going to approach you to actually like be genuine and be nice about it. But that's what they battle. and That's what they fight every time. And so it looks like here that you basically just keep planning and staying focused with your own individual independent life, you know what I mean? And just kind of doing your thing with that. Yeah, and that causes, yeah, this is someone that, okay, so this is someone that is a karmic. Like they know that they're not meant to be dealing with you, bugging you, messing with you. So they know that it's been done with and they still choose to try to find a way to be involved in your life and deal with you and mess with you in some way, shape or form. So they know this is not meant to be like being near you and bugging you or whatever it is that they're even doing on their own path right now. And they just want to keep going against that. Yeah. And it looks like here it's caused them to they're aware of this, but they're not too happy about that either because it's making them more like greedy, more upset, very pissed off, cold, distant. And if anything, it just makes them want to become more manipulative and strategic towards you here for whatever reason. Well, it makes sense if, you know, I mean, you have a lot of abundance and wealth and support and success here, Pisces. A lot of money, a lot of, you know, business, property, real estate, a sense of community, support, family, loved ones, you know, marriage, whatever it is. You create this for yourself here. Okay. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thank you. Bye.